All right, guys, I want to show you in Adobe Animate something I forgot to mention. Um, you have a grid that you can't see. Um, I go to View, Grid, Show Grid, and this shows you a grid that you can use to line things up. Um, normally, the default in Adobe Animate is that everything wants to line up to a grid or a pixel. I personally don't like that. Um, I just go to View, okay, Snapping, and then I turn it off. There'll be like these check marks next to certain things that it's snapping to. Um, I don't want to show my grid or guides, so I'm going to uncheck that. Okay, all right, now we're going to go ahead and import an image. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, Import, and I want it to be added to my library. Um, basically, it just helps you keep your things organized if they're in your library. I'm going to click my JPEG. Okay, shows up here on the side. You get a preview of it. Click and drag to your stage. I want to go ahead and align that. I have a line to stage. It needs to be clicked on, and I just click these options and it goes in that corner. There's a pivot point that I'm going to click and drag. I want it to pivot from this corner, and we're going to drag it, and it's not going to be in proportion, and that's okay. If it goes a little bit off the stage area, that's fine. Okay, so now I have my image, okay? But the thing is with this image, I want to be able to change the opacity, make it um, more like you can see through it, so if I hit the control, while I have it selected, I'm going to control, click, and we're going to turn it into convert to a symbol. Okay. When I do this, I want it to be graphic. I want to rename it, okay, starry, starry night, and hit OK. All right, so now when I go to the library, you're going to have two ver versions. You've got the bitmap, and then you have your symbol version. Okay, the nice thing about the symbol version, when I go to info, is it info or properties, and I click on it, we can go to color effects and we go to alpha. And you can actually bump down how you can see, because this is going to be a guide for you for tracing. Okay, color effects, style, alpha. Okay, I prefer about 50. Okay, okay, so now it's on this layer. I'm going to call it ref. So this is my reference, and I'm going to lock it down. Okay, then I'm going to click down here. I'm going to create a new layer new layer here and this is where you're going to start building your background you're going to make a copy of starry night okay using the tools that I've talked about and then this is basically where you're going to go ahead and I'm going to start with my sky it's really up to you um, and then I'm going to go ahead use my pen tool start making my bezier curves and this is where I'm just going to click and follow along okay now it's picking up that I still have my previous settings from the last lesson. I don't really want this. So I'm going to go back to a line. Do you want to do it? No, nope, still doing the brush. Let me just finish this and see if I can change it. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go off the stage. And then it can close that. Okay. And then let's see, can I change it? Yeah, you can. So once you've made it, you know, your actual shape, then I can pick on one of the other ones. And then now I want to go ahead and I want to fill it with color. Let's go for this blue here that I like. Um, you don't have to be exact with your colors. But basically, you're going to create your background, middle, and your foreground. And I just make a lot of layers. And then after I make one, I go ahead and lock it down. And then I hide it. And then I move on to the next section. So, and then you keep building up from that. Okay, so the little houses, and this will get you really good at using the tools and working with it. And uh, once you have, remember, make sure you're saving, okay, periodically, file, save. And then it's saved, okay? All right, so that should get you started on creating a copy of Starry Night.